How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you guys how to install a couple of mods for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I didn't even know about these mods until like this past week basically, but apparently they've been out since uh, like last year-ish. November and what is the other one? December? Either way, oh no this is from 2022. Mm, okay, so they've been uh, they've been out for a minute. One of them is the 2000, there were 220 FPS patch, which basically just uh, raises the FPS cap from 63 or whatever the original game has it set to to 240 frames per second and then here we have the AC4 tweaker mod which lets you adjust a bunch of graphics settings and tweak everything up and give yourself free items and all that stuff so without further ado we're going to jump right in and start with the 20, 240 FPS patch so to install this mod we're going to come to this mod page links in the description below um, go to the files tab click on manual download and click on slow download or if you have premium then the fast download of course wait for that to start once it's downloaded we're going to go ahead and click on this here and bring it up <clears throat> it's here in my download folder i'll just leave it there for now just for the sake of simplicity i'm going to right click on it and click extract all click extract once it is extracted, we have the file we need. You can look at the README. Basically, it just says you need to replace the game's exe file with the one we have here. Before we do that, though, I'm going to go to the game client, to the game screen here, and I'm going to click Manage, and I'm going to click Properties, and then go to the Installation, and click on Open Folder, and it's going to bring up the game installation folder. Once we are in the game installation folder, I'm going to right-click on the game's exe file. It's the one right here that says... Um, ac4bfsp.exe right click on it click on copy then right click on the side here go to new folder and then do something like exe backup and enter that folder and paste the original game exe file right there just for good measure just in case something happens then I'm going to go back to the main or go back up a level to the to the installation location then I'm going to go back to the mod, mod file here the modded exe and I'm going to right click and click on copy then we're going to go back to the game installation folder and I'm going to right click and click on paste and it's going to ask if we want to replace file the same name we're going to click on replace the file in the destination and there you have it now we can go ahead and run the game and as you can see already in the loading screen our frames are kind of over the out the roof in the actual game it's going to be a lot lower just because the optimization is horrible and uh, unfortunately, yeah, the game's optimization isn't great, but there you have it. It's running all right. Um, we're getting more than 60 frames, and in the original game, it is locked to um, 63 frames per second, so this is a pretty big deal. All right, so we were able to successfully install the 240 FPS patch. Now, if you go to the posts, you'll actually notice that someone mentions the elevators don't look in... <laughs> Someone mentions the elevators don't work out when you're outside of the Animus, and this is where the mod uh, mod creator mentions if you use the EC4 tweaker mod instead of frame rate limit, then you're good to go. Um, which I usually just uh, set my frame rate limits in NVIDIA control panel since I have an NVIDIA card, but you need to do whatever works for you. On to the actual installation of AC4 tweaker. So here we have it. We need to download two files for this one. One is going to be linked in the description of the mod here on the first page. Come down here where it says download the ACI loader, click on the here link, it'll download it up here in the top right. Go over to files, click on manual download, and then click on slow download to download the actual mod files um, for the mod in, in specific. Give it a second. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to go to the downloaded files here in my downloads folder. Um, this is the FPS patch folders that we used earlier, so we're going to disregard those for now. Right click on this, extract, extract, right click on this, extract, extract. And then we're going to go inside of Ultimate ASI Loader, right click on this and click on copy. Go back to the game install location if you still have that open, otherwise you can open it through the client again like we showed you before. Right click here, click on paste. And now we've pasted this input 8.dll in the game install location. Come back here to the mod folder downloaded location, what do you want to call it, and click on up to go back up a level and come over to the AC4 twe tweaker folder. And this is where we're going to change and tweak whatever we want. So the way it works is we're going to copy the scripts folder, right click 
copy, come back to the game install location, right click on the side, paste. Now we have this scripts folder here. The way this model works is you're going to have to go into the scripts folder and right click on ac4tweaker.ini, the one that ends in INI, right click, click on open or open with or whatever to open it inside your um, editor of choice. I use notepad. And here we have frame rate FPS cap you can set, um, uh, time scale, like all sorts of stuff here. You can use cheats, infinite health, infinite money, blah, blah, blah. Clutter, true, decals, decals, true, all this stuff. You can, you know, tweak a bunch of things here in the settings, and I'm not going to go over all of it in the video, mostly because I don't even know how half of it works. I haven't tested it all yet. Um, LOD scale, that could be a good one, because the game's level of detail is not amazing. You know, it is from, like, more than 10 years ago now. So, um, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do something really obvious. I'm going to edit the shadows, I'm going to turn the shadows off. I'm going to set no shadows to true. So I type the word true instead of false. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, you can hit control S or click on file and click on save. And then you can exit out of here. And, um, and we're going to be done with this mod, downloaded mods folder anyway. So I'm going to exit out of that as well. So I edited the INI folder inside the scripts folder inside of the game install location. Anytime you want to change any of those settings, you're going to have to come in here, right click on the INI folder and click on open and change them as you wish um, before relaunching the game. So I'm going to come back to the client, I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to click on play. Alright, so the way we're going to test this out, <coughs> it looks like it's actually working. Um, but you do have to... According to the mod page, you have to hit F1 to turn on the scripts, so make sure you hit F1 if it's not working right now. It looks like my shadows are not being drawn, which is what we wanted. There's no shadows anywhere. There is the ambient occlusion and stuff like that, but no actual shadows per se. So my character has no shadow, just as we expected. And that goes for any of the settings you tweak in there. Um, and that's basically it. You can play around with those settings, see what you like, see what you don't like, and give it all a try. Let me know if you found the video helpful in the comments. If you did like it, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't yet because I do tend to make these kinds of videos every so often, these uh, mod tutorials and um, uh, parkour tutorials, you know, all that good stuff. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next time.